I'm Susan Wilson, and I'm the director of the uh, Cross Current Seminar Series for NISOP. And uh, we're here, as you can see, in the lovely Brookline Holiday Inn, where we've been for probably 15 years. It's, it's, it's a wonderful setting. And um, the thing about Cross Currents is uh, we do stuff, we get bigger names or have bigger, uh, bigger assemblages of people, um, panels and stuff that you can't have in the classroom because the person is a big star or we want to have a whole lot of people in a whole lot of space. And today what we're doing is portfolios, which is perfect because um, the upcoming semester everybody will be working on their portfolios to, to graduate from school with a, an illustrious book. And um, uh, these are people from the outside in a variety of fields here today that the students are meeting with one-on-one -on -one, and they're telling how they put their portfolios together. We have um, two organizers, one in commercial and one in art. Elaine Totten Davis is um, in the world of commercial photography and she's also a life coach. So she was talking about how to approach various people, how to take your portfolios out, how you put portfolios together. And then Blake Fitch in the world of art has, is an art photographer as well as a curator. And um, she uh, she's able to tell students in the world of art how it's somewhat different. And so the, each of them, each year, invite two other photographers and then um, from a variety of fields. This year in the commercial we had Craig Orsini as well as Michael Warren and in the world of art, Rani Matar as well as Jesse Burke. And so what we do during the second half is we have set up tables all around here where the various photographers have laid out their portfolios and we play a kind of musical chairs where groups of students get to go and today we have like six or seven students per group and they stop and spend 10 or 15 minutes with that photographer, look at them, look at their portfolios, talk to them, touch, interact and ask. So it's a really personal experience and then every 15 minutes they move on to the next table. And what's great is we have a little bit of everything because there is no one answer to a portfolio. And so for example, Craig Orsini had an iPad and he said, you know what? People say you have to have books, boxes, all that, mat things, frame things. You don't have to do that. I come with my iPad, I show my movies and my stills, I have a soundtrack, and that's all I do. And someone else would say, oh no, I would never just do that. You know, I would have a book and I would mat it this way and I want to have this kind of box that has my name on it or this kind of book that I've self-published. So it, it's really a wonderful eye-opening experience, showing students the variety of things they can do, encouraging them to do a variety of things and get out there. I mean, I, the big thing today is, um, you know, how they say everybody's a photographer because everybody has an iPhone. These guys are so far beyond that. Every one of these students is beyond that. And having these special pros here to talk to them makes them realize how much they have to do, how much has to come from their hearts, how much they have to develop their own vision to be a real photographer, not just an iPhone artist. Thanks, Susan Wilson, for Cross Currents.